Welcome to the Windows channel and this is part 8 of 9 of my review of the creators update. This is the last part of the review itself. Part 9, which I will post later today, is a conclusion what I think of it, what I think maybe is missing or not. So um, if you're looking for the review side of it, uh, this is the last part of the look at new features. But um, part 9, conclusion coming up much later today as I have some tech duties after I post this video. So, um, okay, first of all, there's a new upgrade panel when you, um, today, this video is privacy and security. Um, new upgrade panel that um, talks about privacy when you actually uh, have your install of Windows 10. We'll see that in a future video where I will actually show everybody how to do a clean install and we'll be able to see these. Um, also changes to some of the privacy settings so um, you know people were saying privacy is too complex it's too difficult to understand pretty much everything uh, now when you go into your privacy and your stuff uh, the diagnostics were too complex for a lot of people so um, basically full and basic are the new settings before you had like um, you know different little settings there from the basic one to the full uh, online diagnostics being sent out all the telemetry of course a lot of people play with this a lot of people don't want this to happen now I am forced here because this is the insider uh, program version but um, you will have basic or full which will be available so this is a little change and you know pretty much all the different things that you see about privacy is uh, going to be changed slowly as time goes by. Also, um, if you want to know what's, you know, the privacy stuff uh, that you have, Microsoft has a new online page where you can go. And uh, it's, uh, it's not a new page, but it's a page that they have actually um, checked out. So when you do account.microsoft.com and slash privacy and you are logged into a Microsoft account in Windows you have this new page now that gives you account privacy information with overview browse and search and location and stuff so you can uh, have a better view when you log into this page about what's happening with your privacy so they've revamped this to make it a little easier to see what's the privacy issues that you might encounter or not also um, you know Microsoft will be trying to be more transparent in the privacy issues so um, you know all of that is slowly uh, coming so privacy big changes trying to make things better lots of on off switches for privacy of pretty much everything so um, you know it's it's to check out and you know if you're scared well Microsoft gives you pretty much all the switches to turn it off or on but remember that the, at, the, at the, the least if you really want to turn off everything there'll still be what's called basic telemetry which is you know um, the basic uh, information about how Windows is uh, working in your computer in the security side uh, basically there's a new uh, Windows Defender first of all you see the Defender has little check marks and colors telling you that it's okay or not when you right click on it in the taskbar that shield you have this new Windows Defender Security Center this is brand new and it's to help you track better your um, your your you know security on your computer one of the things that um, is interesting is there is a new option look at this here called start fresh with a clean and up-to-date installation of Windows this is a new feature that is called the fresh start this is different from what we have, you know, in the um, settings. If you go in the, um, say, the, for example, go here, go into the security, you've got on the, um, the, the, the backup and recovery stuff, you've got reset PC. But now they've added a third option, and it's available through the uh, panel of the Windows Defender Security Center. And it's basically called Fresh Start. Fresh Start is there to reinstall Windows with no bloatware so if you bought a PC from HP for example and it had like tons of crap on it well fresh start will reinstall Windows but the crap will be gone you'll have only the Windows experience 
and uh, of course this removes also your apps so it's kind of nice you know it keeps your files keeps your pictures keeps your music it just removes the apps and the programs which is very nice and it's another way now of reinstalling windows in an easier and faster way so basically that's kind of interesting um, what do we have here we also have windows hello if you have a compatible webcam on your computer windows hello is that sign-in feature they've improved the security on that um, to to make it better if you have bluetooth and you have a, a device a phone uh, a new feature called dynamic lock exists dynamic lock will of course let you uh, check out how you want to um, you know um, log in log out of your accounts so basically dynamic lock is a feature where if you go away with your phone and it detects that you're too far away then it will lock down your account after a certain time so dynamic lock is a new uh, feature and so uh, these are all new little things so here you have a dynamic lock possibility and of course you know I'll be looking into the this um, these features um, you know on my creators update highlight videos that will come uh, next week and um, that's I think it's gonna be interesting to see all the features here and uh, finally of course one that makes a lot of people talk is the fact that in the apps you have a new switch called allow apps from store only and a lot of people you know speculated oh, okay this is the first part in Microsoft wanting us to just install from the store and you know and, and then steam uh, that that steam um, guy just got crazy and said okay you see you see they are gonna break steam we're gonna be not be able to install it no that's not at all what it is it's just that if you use computers and certain organizations and you're afraid that they might install something from their own will well by using this setting and putting it to store apps only well it pretty much only installs apps from the store so it means you can install everything so it's more of a security feature and Microsoft has no plans of preventing us from installing desktop or win 32 apps there's no plan for that at all it's just kind of a security feature they're adding and so these are the privacy and security changes and we'll take a look at very very precisely all of these changes in the coming videos for the creators update so hope you uh, stay tuned to our channel as lots of these videos are coming so this was part eight of nine and part nine will be a conclusion that i'll post later today hope you enjoy our videos about the changes in the creators update of windows 10.